Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I've got this uh, Dell uh, docking station, model number WD19TB, uh, that I bought on eBay. Uh, I got it for parts not working about 10 months ago. Uh, I think I paid like $100 for it. Uh, this is the TB model because it has the Thunderbolt port right here. And uh, I needed that, that's why I bought that one. You can also get them without the Thunderbolt port. Uh, they're a bit cheaper without it. So the problem with this is the USB port is broken. Uh, you can see here that the USB port is all mangled. Uh, so it's a double USB uh, and uh, we're going to have to replace it. So I do have a replacement right here. Uh, it looks about the same. It's not exactly the same, but we'll, uh, we'll make it work. And uh, I got this one on eBay. So uh, I'll show you uh, where I got it. I got it from uh, this seller here, Phi Elect. Uh, and I was able to get 10 of them for $6.53 with uh, that's uh, free shipping. Now they are coming from Wuhan, China, just so you know. Here's all the details of it. It's uh, USB 3.0 type A. This is the one with the 90, they call it the 90 degree curl, 90 degree double curl. That's where I got it from. And uh, it, it did take about a month and a half to get here. So let's start by removing the two screws here and here. All right, we got the screws out. Now we have to uh, remove the rubber on the bottom and uh, we just you just start in the corner here and just pry it up. Well, let's see here. There we go. Now this rubber is uh, self has some self adhesive on it so <clears throat> you just pull it off and you'll be able to put it back on later. It's a little a little hard to cut off, but you'll get it. Okay, almost there. All right, there we go. See, it's got this sticky stuff on the back. All right, so I see here we got uh, a few more screws. We got one, two, three four, five, six more screws. So let's take those out. Okay. Yeah, it looks like these screws have a uh, blue Loctite on there. I can't zoom in on them, but they do. Uh, okay, so now this should uh, come out. Let's see. So I think we need to remove this piece first. Okay. This is the piece that has the Thunderbolt and plugs in. It's got the display port adapter that plugs into the Dell laptop. All right, now this should just lift up. And uh, here we are. And here's our USB port right here. Let's turn this around. All right, let's, uh, let's zoom in on this. All right, looks like there's two screws, one here and one there holding in that fan. So let's remove those. Yeah, that one doesn't want to come out. Let me try a different screwdriver. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, now it's easier. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Flip this around, and let's take these screws so we don't lose them. Okay, and I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna disconnect this fan. All right, there's some screws here, uh, additional screws that we'll have to remove. Uh, there's 
one, two, three, four, five screws. So let's get those out. Alright, the board should just lift off. <clears throat> we go all right so let's uh, remove this uh, USB port right here let's uh, flip this around so now normally I would use my uh, soldering iron to uh, remove this but because there's so many pins and uh, you have these uh, board connectors four board connectors that solder goes all the way through to the other side and uh, this is lead free solder so it's gonna be really difficult to uh, unsolder uh, all those pins so I'm gonna use hot air on this one all right I got the heat on like a 420 Celsius and I got the airflow kind of low so we'll see how this goes I'm going to be pulling it with the tweezers from the bottom and uh, I don't really care if I melt it because it's already it's already ruined anyway so this solder is really uh, hard it's difficult to take out I think I think it's starting to come loose now. <clears throat> now I had a hard time getting that that uh, USB port out of here. Even with the hot air, I had to go up to 500 degrees, and the solder was melted, but the pins, a couple of pins, uh, wouldn't come out. So they actually broke inside the the vias. So I tried everything. I tried uh, putting a toothpick through there while. While the solder was melted, I tried uh, putting a needle through there to push it out, and uh, those two pins were just stuck. They weren't budging. So, what I had to do is uh, I had to drill out the pins that were stuck in there using these uh, micro bits that I have here. Uh, so these holes, these uh, vias, through hole vias are uh, 0.8 millimeter uh, holes. So I I, I used a uh, 0.6 millimeter drill bit on my drill press. Uh, to drill those stuck pins out of there I used one of these suckers and uh, it worked it didn't mess up the via and it got the pin out so you know if you, if you ever do that you got to make sure that your drill press is uh, it doesn't wobble because if it does you'll ruin the via uh, here is the USB port that I took out here's the new one now I see a couple of issues here the new one is two millimeters shorter than the old one. Now the problem with this being uh, two millimeters shorter is that it's going to be set back in here by two millimeters. So if I were to plug in a device and let me just pretend I'm plugging something in right now. Okay I have let's see how much clearance I have here. It's about 2.2 millimeters of clearance. Now, in addition to that, it's going to be set back two millimeters, and then the plastic itself is uh, 1.3 millimeters thick. So it's set back two millimeters plus 1.3. Uh, that's 3.3 millimeters, okay? But the the clearance here that I had was 2.3. So I don't know if this is going to uh, be able to. Uh, plug all the way in so the problem is that the USB plug doesn't go through the plastic see how oh, when I when I plug this in it stops right there all right so I put the USB in place uh, I have not soldered it yet 
I just put it in there temporarily. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it in here and see how far deep it goes and see if I can plug anything in. All right, so let's put this in. Let's see. Yep, I think it's in. Okay. Now let's see if we can plug something into it. It's backwards, okay. Okay, it's in. I felt the click. So I think we'll be okay. Alright, so I'm ready to solder this now. And uh, I'm going to start by putting some flux. Good old Radio Shack flux here. The good old fashioned stuff. And uh, let's see. Let me flip over the board. Okay, now I'm going to hold it in. Uh, while I apply flux. I'm just going to put some on the pins because <laughs> uh, I'm going to tack a couple of pins in first just to hold it in place so I don't have to hold it. All right, I went ahead and uh, soldered it off camera. Uh, I couldn't film it because these pins are uh, so small that it's uh, very difficult to uh, solder it behind the camera. So I had to do it uh, off camera. Uh, but it's done now, so let's uh, put it back together and uh, see if it works. I've got the docking station connected to my uh, Dell laptop. Everything is powered on. And uh, I don't have any USB 3.0 devices to test it with. So I'm just going to plug my uh, Samsung Galaxy phone into it. Okay, so here's my phone. And everything on it. So that's it. It's working and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video.